We're here with current BFL World Heavyweight Champion Arjun Bular. He's set to defend his title in the main event of BFL 45 Ascension at the Hard Rock Casino on September 17th against Ryan Prokifki. Arjun, you've been recognized as one of the elite wrestlers in Canada, representing your country both at the Olympics and at the Commonwealth Games. Reaching that peak in wrestling in Canada and on the world stage, you're being touted as the best wrestler in Canadian MMA, with arguably the best cardio of any pro heavyweight outside the UFC. Tell us briefly about your goals for MMA and how you've progressed in reaching those goals. Um, first of all, thank you for the interview. Um, we're getting ready for this fight. We're excited. We're ready to go. Um, you know, the reason I got into this sport was one reason, one reason only. has to become the best in the world, become world champion. Um, and, uh, you know, there was a, there's a lot of goals and steps in, in getting there. And we sat down as a team. I got a great group of people around me and, and kind of identified those steps and those goals and, and marks we need to hit. And Ryan's one of those uh, one of those marks I got to get through and I will get through in impressive fashion um, and continue my quest to the top. Fantastic. For some people that aren't aware, you've grown up around wrestling success for most of your life with your family. Uh, tell us how that's helped you transition to a mixed martial arts champion. And then also, wrestling has strong ties in the Sikh community. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, in, uh, out of the entire country, BC leads the way uh, in, in terms of our Indo-Canadian community for, for athletes um, in our sport. It's got huge historical uh, significance in our culture, in our religion. Um, where the founders of our religion um, used wrestling as a martial art to train the masses, um, to, to, to train the armies to defend themselves. We've always, you know, had to uh, defend um, ourselves um, to foreign uh, foreign conquerors and, uh, and and outside forces. So um, much like the Chechens of Russia, um, anyone that came into India um, came through the north, and that's where we're, where the Sikhs reside primarily in in, in the north of India. So um, wrestling, like I said, it's got a long, long tradition in history. And likewise, in our family, that carried over when, I'm, when our family immigrated over in the late uh, 50s and uh, late 60s and early 70s. Um, and, you know, got 10 guys in the family, all, all brothers. Uh, every one of us wrestled. Um, and the higher higher up I went, um, the more that the, the support rallied with me and got behind me. And same thing here in the sport. It's, it's crossed over anything we do. Uh, we do together. So we're in this quest together still. Um, it's a race to the top of the mountain. And um, it's only one result at the end of this, and that's going to be me at the top. Fantastic. Leading up to this event, this is your first title defense. Your opponent, Ryan Prokrivke, is a 5-2 and two pro. He's fighting out of Michigan, riding a three-fight win streak. Give us your thoughts on him. Do you feel that he would be your most dangerous opponent to date? No, you know, I don't pay too, too, too much attention to my opponents. I focus on myself and what I have to do, the benchmarks I have to hit to be ready and on point. Um, and uh, I trust the coaches around me, Adam Ryan, uh, Jay Johnson, got my brother Jag. Um, you know, we're, we're on point. We're ready to go. It's, it's not about him. It's about me. The fight is, uh, the challenge is me against myself. If I do what I need to, um, the, 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 the result will take care of itself. And, um, again, I, I don't worry about him. We're ready to go. Three of his five wins have come via knockout. You know, he's bringing in U.S. Olympian Jake Herbert to help train with him to help nullify your wrestling. Are there any worries about him being an opponent that could help keep the fight standing for a majority of the, of the bout? And do you think he'll get the opportunity to show your stand-up skills, which you may not have been able to show against previous opponents? Well, I will say this. He can bring in whoever he wants. He's got 30 years of catching up to do. He's not going to get that in a few months. Um... And at the same time, I'm working on my end. I'm not sitting around on my butt. Um, so I'm not worried about who he's bringing in. I'm worried about myself and my preparation. Like I said, we're on point. Uh, he can he can do what he wants for his camp, um, bring in whoever he wants. They're not going to be in there fighting for him. It's going to be me against him. Um, and at the same time, I'm not just a wrestler. I didn't get into this to wrestle my way to the top of the, of the heap to become a world champion in that. If I wanted to, I would have went to the Real Olympics and continued wrestling. Um, I've been working on my striking diligently, and uh, you will see I will stop him via strikes um, in this fight, and everyone will see what uh, what people see in my training. They will see under the lights. The only thing is I haven't been able to bring that out against other opponents. I mean, you know, I take what's there, and either they, they rush me, they're getting taken down, they stand with me, they're going to get knocked out. That's what it is. Um, and in pre, uh, opponents in the past, um, they've given me the takedown, so I've taken it. So, um, but I, I feel this guy will be a little smarter. Um, and if he is, I'll be to showcase my, my stand-up abilities. 
Great. Your last, uh, the last three pro champions, both Matt Dwyer, Ryan James, and Jeremy Kennedy, were all signed by the UFC after a couple title defenses. Your next fight is probably one of the most important ones of your career. Give us some insight as to how you feel the next couple of fights will help you reach your goals as a fighter. Hey, man, every, every, every time you compete, it's important. It's, uh, it's something that makes uh, who you are. It's a part of your legacy, your journey. Um, when I laced up my boots at five years old to wrestle, it was an important match. When I laced up my boots at 13, at 16, um, now put the gloves on. Every time you compete, it's a reflection of who you are, and it stays with you for the rest of your life. Um, so that type of stuff is important to me, and I treat it as such. That's why I'm a full-time fighter, full-time athlete. I have been my entire life. Um, and, I, again, I don't care what he's doing. He's never faced someone like me. Um, and this fight is important, and the next one will be in the next one until I stop competing. And that'll happen when, when I'm satisfied and I reach the top of the mountain. Look ahead into the future. Is your plan to stay as a heavyweight or drop down to light heavyweight eventually further in your career? Right now, you know, I feel good. I've been a heavyweight my entire life for wrestling. Um, I, I've got uh, a great gas tank. Uh, I move well. No one out power, uh, No one's got more strength than me. Um, and at the same time, I've got the skill set. Most importantly, i got the insights. Um, and when you have that, you can fight at any weight. So I fight that, uh, at, at the weight that... Uh, gets me the wins, which I feel comfortable at, um, and I walk around at, and, and that's where I'm at now. Um, if we feel a need um, to adjust moving forward, I will talk to my team um, and make that adjustment, but I'm comfortable where I'm at, and um, that's all there is about that. Once again, we'd like to thank Arjun, who will be fighting at the Hard Rock Casino on September 17th. For more, more info, go to our website, www.battlefieldfight.com. Thanks a lot, Arjun. Thank you. Get your tickets. Tune in. USA versus Canada. USA versus India. He will not go home with our belt. I guarantee it.